What does revolution mean? Is it about exchanging one power dynamic to another? Is it just radical statement or long-term plan of action to seriously practice? Is it about to fit the uncompromising examples of the past? Or is it about to build new definition of society? For the woman here in northern Syria, also called Rojava, the revolution isn't a mere slogan. It is the first practical step to direct democracy, communal economy and the society's emancipation through women's empowerment. It is the irreversible disobedience towards the silent rules of capitalism. In Rojava there is a saying, you cannot abolish capitalism without abolishing the state, and you cannot abolish the state without abolishing patriarchy. Here, its consequences are present everywhere. The war, with all the terror, death and misery it carries, can be felt in every corner. Three million people are still living in the three cantons of Rojava. And while the bomb are still falling on neighboring cities, they organize themselves. They are planning daily life, as well as the implementation, step by step, of their long-term vision. Within it, the women are making sure that from its very foundation, their society is giving them equal opportunity and recognition. But double oppression means also double fight. To free themselves from the state and men's subordination, they are organizing both in common and in women-only committees. In every field like economy, culture, self-defense and local communes, women have their own committees. All their work is organized through Congrasta, a confederation of women's movement founded in 2005. They believe that women's autonomy is crucial to confront male-dominated institutions and build sustainable alternatives. Since 2012, women from all walks of life have openly taken part in every aspect of the society's growth and protection. They know that to take back their right to self-determination, they have no choice but to challenge the state monopoly of protection by creating their own defense forces. Here, in Serikani, it's mothers that protect their own neighborhood. What does it mean when you give weapons to the people? Being part of a HPJ, the society's protection forces, isn't only about being on the street with weapons. It's much more about redefining the real meaning of protection. What a society should protect? How? Why is the right to self-defense so important? To break away from the behavior of state authorities, the Java's armed force are the first to be trained about ethics, history, local customs and justice. They consider weapons just as the technical aspect of self-defense whereas raising consciousness and self-organization as the basis of it. They believe that to better defend yourself, you need to know yourself and what you're part of.
ویا من شخصی آواکنا جوک ک آزاده آوا دسپیکش مالا خدا پاشی در کردن ناف ملت یعنی آرمان جام اسپرورده انسان بهتر فلسفه خان است که بهتر جیانی است که بهتر کار تعامل در دور آخر بکه بهتر کار بده هواهی خو اذان فکر اینی پرورده بخواهش بومن اب. But for this idea is to take root in the society's custom and to really apply in everyday life. It's the entire population who need to gain experience through practice and education. And in Hari, we believe that the people who are in the world are in the world. They 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 are in اداره ریوبریش دسلاداری باشقطره دسلاداری پیناسا خود چیه؟ پیناسا خود چیه؟ In contrast with traditional education, which aims to form workers to participate in the economic system, the primary purpose of education in Rojava is to form mindful citizens to participate actively in any social and political sphere. It includes popular education, which reconnects the process of learning with the reality of a society, and to help build a critical and dynamic mindset where everybody can become a creative part of the community. By becoming more aware of their own role in history, of the leads they take in different societies and cultures, women are able to rebuild belief in their own gender and to open their perspective to new horizons, where they play an active part in economy take a stand in front of the community and make bold step in the development of justice and education. Uh, when we begin the education, we, we were about uh, 15 teachers. But now, nowadays, and this this day we are 900 teachers. I hear uh, so many times they say it for girls and for me. You are a girl, what you will do for, uh, uh, in the certificate? After all, you will hang it on the kitchen. <laughs> yes, but here and in this situation of war, uh, frankly, I can say in this uh, Rojava and in this system, we see ourselves. Uh, we uh, see that all of, all of uh, these peoples around us respect us. Here, uh, the value of thoughts is, m is more than the, what you have in uh, uh, any, uh, any, any certificates. In 2016, around 4,000 schools are providing basic education for a child from 5 to 16 years old. Many academies specialized in justice, ecology, agriculture and many other fields are open and regular training are proposed to all the population on topics such as history, ethic and self-organization. In a country where negligent politics have such devastating consequences, the people's trust in any distant politician is simply destroyed. But the war situation doesn't reduce the population's need of food, electricity or housing, it rather increases it. So how to provide all of these services without central organization? Here, everybody sees herself or himself as a politician. They consider that the essence of politics is to know the society's need and that for this job, they are the best. We are in the commune of Kedurbek neighborhood, Kamishlo. In the canton of Jeziri, in eastern Rojava, there are 620 communes established. They constitute the key basis of this direct form of democracy. The first intent is to create spaces for women and men together, discuss their needs and find solutions of their own. When problems arise, it is the first place where they are debated. The local population makes their regular meetings, where every decision concerning daily needs, protection or local projects are taken. 
By doing so, they are ensuring that any development or outside interest would be under the ethical control of a society. Each commune can represent from 7 to 200 persons. Every two years, a minimum of three people are elected for its coordination. Like in any other institutions of Rojava, a quota of at least 40% of women's participation is applied. Women involved in the commune are in position to shape the very foundation of the system with their own perspectives. While maintaining a sensitive social balance, step forwards are being made to pull away from patriarchal traditions and bring women to the front, leading the society's transformation. Despite the communes being in their early stage, because of the war, the lack of resources and the slow transformation of habits, to many, they carry the potential to overcome the issues deeply ingrained in modern society and set a new start for future generations. <laughs> The local council implement the decision of the communes and manage all the administrative requirements. In each of them, an only woman branch has opened to develop projects focusing on giving all women access to work, family care, and gain more freedom of movement. The ongoing war and the embargo of neighboring countries against Rojava made the import of vital products, export of goods, and development of Rojava's economy truly challenging. So how, with few resources, experienced professional or workforces, would they restart an economy which fit people's needs, respect their environment, and include women? It is both by need and conviction that the cooperative model became evident. In one hand, it allowed people with smaller incomes to share or buy commonly the necessary tools to build factories, workplaces and shops. 
On the other hand, it gives them the possibility to share responsibilities and benefits and to promote local self-sufficiency. Part of those are women's cooperatives, which range from the production of cheese to clothing to organic agriculture. One of its examples is the organic agriculture site of Sericania, managed entirely by women. حالی من جیگرتیه، اما دخالت هر چیزی خواب 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 کنی، یعنی دو به خال چندینی آخا، هر چیزی کسکای هاوینه آز بسانه، اما خواب خواب کنی. دستی که دهاتن زحمتی، یعنی هاتن باوری خانی نت کردند که عجب که چهاب به عجب به نجحه، عجب نه نجحه، یعنی زحمتی تی دا کشانده. بشرا گو خدمت کنیم لی نهرین، هن هات نگری ده، هن حس کنیم بشری برهندی، هن حس کنیم هن هات نگری دان آخا خدا یعنی یعنی وی باوری خوبی هات، بشری زحمتی او نکنیم یعنی نکشاندی. یعنی به درک تو بیکن وقت سخیده من بازار محلک وکری هندره بازار که دایه بنابی بستان رجوا و نبی کمینه بستان رجوا هم به درک دفروشن. Through their work, women are reintroduced into the fields of economics. They learn about self-confidence by realizing their own capacities to work in different areas and abilities to carry responsibilities and solve problems. Rebuilding this belief is decisive in growing what they call a communal economy. For cooperatives, thousands of women now generate their own source of income and new projects are frequently initiated. But for women to be truly economically and socially free, this effort must be combined with the protection of all their rights. From family pressuring them to stay inside, to undesired pregnancy, to the violence made behind closed doors. All of these reasons keep women confined, silenced and devalued. But in Rojava, women act on these tools of repression that rely on one main factor, isolation. Against it, they have a powerful weapon, the woman's house, here called Malajin. A space where they can speak without fear or shame of their problems and ideas. A space where they can find support and understanding. A space that gives them strength and will. بديمقراطي أم مالي خو أبابكن أم جواكا خو أبابكن يعني أم بيجن جوي جواكر أم بدن خياني كرن أم مال دفي تشلو بي أباكرن أفجن تشلو دفي حقيقة بباريزة ما في خو بباريزة بتشرنجي أفجن آيا أم بيجن كارو خباتي خبكة أفجن دمالي دنمينة جبرج شورش براستي بو لهي كجمرج جنيف بيرام يعني أم بيجن شورش هاد لهيا جنيجي هاد ولو رابو سبب بحمة إيش يخد الخص؟ لا هوا هناك دستي تقدر تلفوني جمرة بهوا الوان تدخل وش هذي جارك ده هي جمال أخد الناكة بأكمل ما لا من زاروك من أجمل الناكة. In 2013, when the first communes were created, women began also to gather in the women's house and take care of all the problems related to their own gender. Three years later, there is more than 35 Malajins spread across Rojava. 
In each of them, peace and consensus committees solve daily problems and deep family issues. <laughs> In order to rebuild trust and understanding between people, they act as mediators and follow the cases until they reach a consensus. If after several attempts to meet an agreement, the committee is unable to solve the conflict, they transmit the case to the tribunal. They see this justice process as a way to understand not only the attitude which causes problem, but their origin in the underlying issues of the society itself. At this first stage, ordinary people take back the responsibility to solve the community's issue and readjust to their reality, culture and customs the meaning of justice. The Peace and Consensus Committee from the very first level of the justice system, which recognized its legitimacy, giving it the needed weight to successfully solve conflict and make a real change in the long run. <laughs> In the past five years, while mainstream media were focused on making reports from the front lines, a woman in Rojava are leading a real social revolution. A revolution which isn't just about taking down the government or fighting for its own survival, but one defined by the ability to set up a new system, organizing the entire population quickly and carefully enough to meet their needs while creating new structures which promote self-determination, solidarity and women's agency. Women from Mojava prove us that real change transcend given frameworks, that there isn't one central way to govern, but a plurality of possibilities from which women can thrive and emancipate the whole society. They show us that the guide to real social and political change isn't written yet, but that it is rather a process in constant evolution that requires the participation, awareness and belief of all. Okay.